she, she, she thinks he's something he's not. And then the train goes, it's slow. And then she comes back, he's not going to do that. So she comes back to the floor, so she's going to do that. Well, she goes to the station, and she's going to do that. And then she goes to the station. Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides. Why am I doing this? So this is the fourth installment of the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise, and this time, Jack Sparrow isn't hanging out with Will or Elizabeth anymore. Thank God. Now he's searching for the Fountain of Youth. The only problem is, so is Blackbeard, who is going to kill him. And the other problem is, Blackbeard's daughter just happens to be an old flame of his whose heart he broke in a million pieces. So, things are awkward. Now, I love the first one, but the sequels, we know where that went, people. And I was really hoping this would kind of reclaim the magic of the first one. Then I saw it had like a 36 on Rotten Tomatoes, so I was like, okay, time to take a dump on this movie. But you know what? It was a lot of fun. It shows me for trusting Rotten Tomatoes. This isn't the same convoluted mess of a movie filled with a really bad story, hollow characters, and... CG effects crammed up the... You know, a simple, straightforward, fun movie. It's like the first one. Practical, fun, simple, straightforward. Bada bing bada boom. Johnny Depp continues to be amazing as Jack Sparrow, and this time his humor works really well, unlike the last one. I mean, it's, his humor d doesn't just rely on him going... Savvy. He's actually really funny. He's actually allowed to be a character this time around again, and he's so much fun to watch. Penelope Cruz I thought was good, I mean, you know, she was definitely pretty... Thank you. She had really good chemistry with Johnny Depp, I mean, I think they've worked together, so I think that helped. I mean, Jeffrey Rush, I love Barbosa, he's one of my favorite characters in the franchise, it's great to see him back, you know... What was I gonna say after that? Yeah, he's good. And Ian McShane's Blackbeard, this is just perfect, because he is just... Ian McShane's a great actor, but he did a great job. He was evil, menacing, cool, and he just had a great screen presence. He was a lot of fun to watch. And now, Rob Marshall, I, he actually surprised me. He, had, he did a pretty good job. I mean, if you don't know, this movie switches directors from Gore Verbinski to Rob Marshall. And I was a little bit sad that Gore Verbinski wasn't doing this one, because he did a fantastic job with the th trilogy, the original trilogy. I thought Rob Marshall did do quite as good of a job, but he did a pretty good job. He shot the locations pretty well. He actually filmed the action scenes pretty well. And the action is pretty entertaining. And, you know, sometimes it can be a little bit silly, but it's pirates, I'll go with it. It's a lot of fun. My favorite scene has to be this mermaid scene. It's so cool and surprisingly creepy. I was actually kind of creeped out. And the visuals. What I like is, yes, this is a practical movie. This isn't crammed with visuals. And they don't have to pay $300 million on this one. I mean, yes, there are visuals. And when they're there, they're very impressive. But... You know, there aren't a whole lot. It's very practical, and I really like that. And, you know, the costumes, sets, props, like like they always are, are fantastic. I mean, this franchise always does a great job of those. Like I said, the humor works really well, and I really like that this time around, they, you know, they knew that the fans of the original were getting a little bit older, so they threw some adult jokes in there. And actually, I was actually kind of like, whoa, God, I hope kids aren't here. What are kids going to be doing at a midnight showing? I thought, you know, the story, while it was a bit meh, written. I thought it was fun, simple, straightforward. I like that this time around we got a bit of an Indiana Jones treasure hunt element to it, which was actually a lot of fun to watch. The score by Hans Zimmer. I said Hans Zimmer, that's all you need to know. It's it's great. Now, I mean, I have some problems with it. Yes, the plot, it's very underwritten. There's not much of a plot. It's like events, events, events connected with a small string. Yeah, kind of flimsy. Also, I do agree that there are a bit too many characters in this movie, especially the missionary thing. Get him out of there. He was... I hated that character, and I hated the relationship with him and the mermaid. So unnecessary, so boring, so cheesy. Oh, well, this is a fun movie. Not as good as the first one at all. Nowhere near. 
but it's fun, and that's what's important. Critics, they're just beating the crap out of this thing. They're just being snobs. It's fun, okay? It's not great, but it's a fun movie. I think if you're a fan of the franchise, you're gonna enjoy it. Gonna give it a, a very strong 7.5 out of 10. Can't quite go 8, but it was a very fun movie. Probably gonna be getting on Blu-ray. So, yeah, that was my review of Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides, and... So, until next time, guys, I'm Alan Gunn, here to tell us crap and what's not.